Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so, so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. So today I decided to do a makeup look, kind of just showing you what I do every day as my makeup for school. Um, it's not like a minimal makeup look. It's really nothing specific. I'm kind of just showing you what I do and what products I use. And I think this looks beautiful. It lasts throughout the whole day. So I figured I would share it with you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. There is a link down below and there's a little button in either this corner or this corner. I really don't know where it's gonna be, but just click it and become a part of my squad. I would love for you to do that. And if you're interested in learning how I do my everyday makeup routine, then just keep on watching. We are chilling today, t-shirt time. Literally, like today, I'm actually, like I'm doing my makeup for school, like I'm actually doing makeup for school. I decided to wake up a little bit earlier and instead of like later in the week do a video of like my school makeup, I figured, you know what, why don't I just film myself doing my school makeup before school, you know what I mean? When I'm doing like my everyday school makeup, I actually don't go in with foundation, but I do put on a lot of concealer, so there's that. Um, what I like to use, I've been using this, like this is like my everyday routine, like every product that I'm showing you, this is it. Um, I like to use a Milani um, concealer. I've been loving this, if you watch my videos you know that. It is a little bit like lighter coverage, and this is in the shade medium light. And what I like to do is, I don't like the little sponge, so I just put it on a flat brush, and I'm gonna put it under my eyes, on my eyelids, around my nose, and a little bit on my chin. So I don't use foundation, but I use a lot of concealer. But like I said, this concealer is pretty lightweight, so it might seem like I have a lot of product on, but it's actually really thin. It's a thin layer. And I'll just take my, um, you already know, the L'Oreal sponge and blend it out. Okay, now we're looking super pale. Now this product that I'm about to show you guys, um, I don't think I've ever showed it on my channel. This is the Graftopian Professional Makeup um, Deluxe. Okay, it's from Graftopian, and it's a Luxe Cashmere HD Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Banana Cream Pie. Um, I've been testing this out, and I really, really like it. Um, this was sent to me. No, it's not sponsored. I feel like I always have to say that, but it is not sponsored. I mean, this was sent to me like complimentary to try out. Um, and I have to say that I really, really like it for looks like this. Um, like this is a, like since it's like a yellow shade, when I set my face, it looks like super natural, not super, super highlighted. So I like it for like an everyday type look. I did do a more dramatic look and set my eyes with this and it just didn't give me the brightness that I wanted. You know what I mean? So I feel like this is an, like a really good everyday powder if you're like my skin tone. Um, but if you're darker than me, this might be really good to highlight. I don't know because I don't have darker skin. But I feel like this shade would be good, you know? So I'm just going to set literally everywhere that I put my concealer. I'm quickly just going to blend out any creasing. By the way, I didn't use a primer because I just, I don't use a primer every day. I just um, put moisturizer on before I started this tutorial. Um, I'm not sure if it has flashback or not. I haven't tested that just because, like I said, I like it for everyday use. But I really like this powder, so if you're in the market for another, like, banana shade powder, the Graftopian one, it's cute. I like it. So I do, like, it's not that I like contour, but I kind of like contour and bronze at the same time. And what I like to use, and you guys might be surprised that I really like this, but I did a full face of e.l.f. Um, I'll link it up here if you want to watch that. And I tried this, which is the e.l.f. Bronze Peach Aqua Touch um, Bronzer and Blush. But I love this for every day because since I don't have foundation on, this like, it's kind of like a, a cream product, so it sticks really, really well to the skin. I like to go in with a little stippling brush. This is from e.l.f. as well. And what I like to do is just kind of define my cheekbones, my forehead, and all that jazz. And then once we have this down, I do like to go in with my Milani Soleil Baked Bronzer. And I'll take a fluffy brush and just kind of like go through and like set all this little contour. 
And then I also like to just kind of put it all over my face just to like darken my face up. Oh, as always, I'm taking this e.l.f. brush right here. This is so good for baking under this my lines. Oh my god. And I bet you it's like two or three dollars. I absolutely love it. So. And also, I have baked with this powder like on like when I do have like foundation. And it doesn't have, like I said, that super highlighting effect. So like I said, this is more, for me, for my skin tone, it's more of like a natural powder. While I let that bake, I just like to move on to the eyes. Um, I don't ever use like a particular shade of eyeshadow, I just use whatever I have. Um, I got my birthday palette from Ulta, which was so nice. Usually, you know how you get your birthday gift? Last year I got like a little Urban Decay eyeshadow, which I love, but this month, like, they gave me a full size palette. Um, I would love to do a look with this, but I don't know if like everyone can get their hands on it or if just for birthdays. Pretty much what I like to do is just take like a brown shade. Um, so I'm gonna take this shade right here. And I'm literally just gonna put it all over my crease and all over my lid. And then I'm gonna go in with this orange shade right here and kind of just warm it up a little bit. Like I said, you don't need this palette. All you really do need is bronzer, like whatever you like. It's your everyday makeup look. Just take some tips from me, you know? Um, so I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and kind of just put this shade all over my eye. And yes, I do do this like every day. Um, honestly, I don't start school till, like I don't have to go to school super early. So I do have time to get ready and like, I love getting ready. So like, this is what I do. Um, like I said, it's not like a super, it's not like a really natural look, it's just what I do every day. And people seem to like my makeup when I go to class. Um, so I'm gonna go in with that orange shade and I'm just gonna like kinda warm it up a little bit. And I'm just gonna take the little cream shade in the palette and highlight my brow bone. By the way guys, I've been trying out some new products and I found like a really nice skincare routine that I've been doing. And my skin has been, you know, behaving lately. So I was thinking about filming a um, skincare routine. Let me know if you're interested. Um, so I do like to line my eyelash line just a little bit, just to add some definition to my lashes. So I, like always, I like to use my Essence Felt Tip Waterproof Liner, and I'm gonna do a very, very thin line. And then, as always, again, I like to use my Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil, Easy Glide and Waterproof. And this is in the shade Silky Nude. Um, quickly, I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes, and then I'm gonna go in with my Falsies uh, push-up mascara. I ordered like a setup to make this little white background super duper cute and I'm so excited. It's coming in in like three days so I feel like my next video is already gonna have the cute little setup and I'm so excited. It's kind of like, it's a little festive. Not like Christmas festive but just like end of the year festive. <laughs> Am I the only one that is so excited for fall? Like, is it fall yet? Isn't fall supposed to start until like the end of September? I don't know and I don't care. All right, mascara is on and then I'm just gonna take a little pencil brush and I'm just gonna take the little shimmery shade in here and just highlight my inner corner. Wow, I really like this palette. This is really pretty. Like really freaking pretty. Okay, so now that we're done baking, I'm just gonna kind of just wipe it off. And so you can see, just like sharpened it up a little bit. I like it. So going back to this e.l.f. duo, um, this blush is super pigmented and I don't want that much of it, but I do wanna just put a little bit down just to have like a base for my powder blush because I am a blush girl. So I kind of just gently make a little base for it. Um, for blush, I have been loving the LA, LA, the LA girl, um, the LA girl just blushing blush in the shade Just Radiant. I love it. It has a little bit of a sheen, and I just think it's beautiful for like an everyday or every night, whatever you want type look. Okay, so for highlight, my go-to like everyday highlight is my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight in Precious Petals. This is such a nice highlight because it's like a rose gold shade. 
it is like super it's like it's pretty blinding but it's like it's not super frosty so I, I don't know I think it's beautiful for every day so for lip liner I have like a little lip combo that I like to do uh, first I like to go in with the NYX um, lip crayon lip liner in the shade sugar glass it's a really pretty just like neutral warm kind of nude And you could leave it, leave it like this. Um, this is like a freaking creamy pencil. Um, so you can use it all over the lips. But I do like to go in with something a little bit pinkier. And I absolutely love this lipstick. This is the Essence Matte Lipstick in 03. <gasps> so pretty. Look at this shade, first of all. Such a pretty shade. I know it looks super dark, but I just like to pat it. And it's so comfortable. I don't know, this is like such a smooth lipstick. And to set my face, it's kind of funny. I started using this because um, my favorite is the Milani setting spray. So I didn't want to use that all up like every day. And I was like, this one has a lot of products. So I'm going to start using it. And surprisingly, it keeps my makeup on all day. So I definitely recommend this. It's a Maybelline Master Fix Face Studio setting spray. The only thing I don't like about this is the actual spray. It's, it's like super, super wet. Like it's not a very fine mist, but Whatever, we're just going to school. We're gonna go learn. Okay guys, so this is the final result. As you can see, it's like, um, like you can tell that I took the time to do my makeup, but it's not like super in your face. It's super comfortable because again, I'm not wearing foundation. I like, I have to bake my smile lines because I'm not gonna crease, I don't have foundation on. If you touch your face, like it's okay, you know? Um. I really, really love doing this makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope that um, you found the products useful. 99% of them are affordable, except this powder, of course. It's like $20, $24. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that if you're in school or if you use this for work, I hope you really enjoy it. I hope it lasts all day for you. And if you are starting school again, I wish you the best. Make good grades. Honestly, just put a lot of work into your school. It might not seem like you want to right now, but later on in the future, like it just gets harder. So put all your effort now and um, just get good grades, do good in school. It's such a good accomplishment. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go get ready because I have to go to school. So I need to go get dressed and get going. But I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Why am I wearing a long sleeve? It's hot. <coughs> oh my god, I got... I got so much powder in my mouth just now. Does this look cute? Does this look like princessy? I don't want to be a princess. I want to be a queen. I need to chill a little bit. I need to, I need to, okay, let's start this over. Oh my god. Beggars can't be choosers. Okay. I'm not going to beg for you to subscribe. Subscribe if you want to.